We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. Gene Segura standing in and we are set for baseball here this evening. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. If you can command that with movement, it's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. He's safe. A great recovery, but he couldn't get it there in time. At the plate, Andrew McCutcheon. Outside, two and one. Segura on at first. Nobody out. A 3-1 count to the Phillies' left fielder. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3-1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around there? The second for one. On to first, the double play. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. And he misses two and one. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt, and particularly that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. Well, the play made, and that retires the side. will bring in the former top prospect Ahmed Rosario. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Two balls and a strike to Ahmed Rosario. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a pool. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. His past line against Aaron Nola. He's one for four. The pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. The 3 2, one more time. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Fouled away. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Down the left field line and deep. And that's going to land foul. The next 3 2. Stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now and gone. Home run. <laughs> to the plate now, Jeff McNeil. That's a three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. One out, nobody on. That's lifted the other way out to left. There to take it in is McCutcheon now for route number two. 
So bases are empty here with two gone. And up steps the power bat of Pete Alonso. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it 2-1. and one. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Ball even at 2-2. Two and two. The pitch. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Fastball too high, ball four. So a runner at first with two away. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Two and two count. Here it comes. Rounded softly down the line toward first. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hard hit ball to second, and a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. Box Wilson Ramos now a ball lying toward the gap in left center McCutcheon is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side and that'll bring up the Sacramento product Reese Hoskins they'll get us started in the top of the second hey we're still in the early stages of this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Down moves to a ball and two strikes now. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Didi Gregorius. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And oh, that looked like it caught him squarely in the arm. Thankfully, he's able to recover and he gets the second out at first. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up JT Realmuto. Set to deliver on two and one. Two and two. And it's up to a three, two full count now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mariznik is under it. And that ends the inning. Next up from New York, Joanna Cespedes. He set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Two balls and a strike now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Williams will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the center fielder, Jake Marisnik. The 1-1 home. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Rick Porcello. Mets pitcher behind at the plate with a ball and two strikes. 
Hey, I got to really commend this pitcher right here. Was able to regroup in between innings. Something happened in the dugout because he's on point coming out for the second. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. This is line to left. McCutcheon is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Up next will be Nick Williams looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Hit softly down the line at first. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The 1 2. Smoke toward the hole. A dive and he knocks it down. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Striding into the box, Scott Kingery, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. The 1 2. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Still one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. So a runner at first with one out now, and it'll be the pitcher up next, Aaron Nola. Nola. Now the one and one pitch is a strike, missed the sacrifice attempt that time. That's not great form right there, but you can't be surprised. A lot of these guys were not asked to bunt coming up through the minor leagues, so don't expect every sack bunt to get down. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in Gene Segura. Segura. The 3 1 pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is after it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Next for the Mets, Ahmed Rosario. He'll begin things here against Aaron Nola. A three ball, one strike count to the Mets shortstop. Hit out towards second. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. Into the box now, J.D. Davis slapped hard the opposite way, and that's in there, base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now battle, number four. In now, Jeff McNeil. Late on that one as it's foul off to the left side. off making him sweat out there the seventh pitch coming up high in the air out to center field Williams is under it and that's the first out of the inning next will be the cleanup hitter Pete Alonzo he scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Now that Trying to pick things up where we left off. Michael Conforto. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Conforto behind the ball and two strikes. Two. two and two count here it comes this one misses and that'll fill the count here three and two with two away 
For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's looking at a fastball to end the inning. So next to the plate for the Phils, Andrew McCutcheon as we begin the top of the fourth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way, and here it comes. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Now that stepping up now, Bryce Harper. Harper. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Chopped to third, tough to get to. Davis grabs it cleanly. On to first, and they get the double play. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Wilson Ramos he's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And it misses three and one now. Waiting his turn on deck, Yoannis Cespedes. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Now the three and two pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And it's gone as they add still another. Stepping in now, Joanna Cespedes. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. The one, two. Swing and this is also hit well out to deep center and that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases and he's going to get to second now with nobody out. At the plate Jake Marisnik down low two balls and a strike. And it's fouled away. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Up next to the bat. So here now is the pitcher, Rick Porcello. Hit it hard but lined out in his first half bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Nope. Low with a fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Harper is there. Two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So runner in scoring position with two men gone. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. The 1-1. Three runs, six hits. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. I'm seeing him aim the ball right now and that's a trap you fall into as a pitcher when you're not as confident in your stuff as you should be. You've got to trust your stuff. 
And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Soft grounder left side. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Now batting, JT Real Muto. Right side. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Digging in, Nick Williams comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1 1 home. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here 3 and 1. Swung on and missed 3 and 2. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. And a fastball misses there, ball four. And in steps Scott Kingery. He was plunked with a pitch in his first trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Ball taken there, two and one now. Has a look, now the pitch in the dirt and now let's see is there and he's out trying to take second the three and one pitch high and deep down the left field line and that will end up a foul ball and he rolls over this one foul we'll do it once more three and two Pulled high in the air out to left field. Cespedes is underneath this one, and that will retire the side. Adam Morgan will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. So here's Jeff McNeil. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So one away here with the bases empty, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. And that misses two and two. Morgan is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 pitch home. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. So one gone in the Michael. inning here with a runner at first. Conforto. And up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Neil Walker will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number 12, Neil Walker. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And a swing and a miss as Walker is down on strikes for the first out. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. One for two on his line so far in the game. Hit the other way out toward right field. Conforto is right there as he takes it for the second out. 
also yeah. striding in Come Andrew McCutcheon. It yeah. was a walk in his last yeah. trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Conforto will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Robert Stock will come on and now make his fourth four, appearance in this campaign. Number 89. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. A hit in two tries for him so far. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And a good throw gets him one gone. So with one away now, a chance for the left fielder to bat with the bases empty. Here's Joannis Cespedes. Now the three and two pitch. Cespedes takes ball four there, and he'll head down to first. Here's Jake Marisnik, who was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. On oh, its Taylor made to short. Six, four, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. So striding forward now, Bryce Harper, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Here it comes on one and one. Here's one that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. To two and two now. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Scooped up, and he'll step on first himself for the out. And that will be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Popped him up. McNeil moving to his left. And he makes the catch for the second out. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. Didi Gregorius. 2-2. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Davis is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Sir Anthony Dominguez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Sir Anthony so here's the Mets pitcher, Rick Porcello. He flew out in his last at bat. 1-1. It's a swinging strike a little late on the fastball that time. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He Come blew it right by ball. him there. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Rick Porcello is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. And he's taking here and looks at strike two right down the middle. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. So a runner at first now with one away. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. A 1-1. Line hard to the left side, but foul. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Ready with two balls and a strike. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. He's going, he's going, he's but going. I got to be honest with you, I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks his own again. Rosario isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh.
So now to the plate, JT Real Muto. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And there's out number one. Now back. Digging in, Nick the Williams. 0 for 1 for Nick. him here in this one. Williams. Inside, he misses ball four. Standing in, Scott Kingery. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Scott Kingery. The three and one pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Now the three and two pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. David Robertson will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Adam Hazley will also come on now, as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. And batting nine, number 40, Adam. Here now the 2-2 two -two is looked at, and the count moves full. Line drive to left. McCutcheon is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now At the plate, Michael Conforto. He was a double play Michael. victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. One and two now. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Into the box, Wilson Ramos. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A one one. Two out, nobody on. And he watches a called third strike on the cut fastball that time, and that will retire the side. Seth Lugo comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Adam Hazley. And they'll need him to get something going here. They look like they're up against it here. Down three on the road, trying to come back against a closer. Line to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Gene Segura has got a hit in three at bats to this point. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. And he'll pull into second with one away. The left field to the plate now Andrew McCutcheon and he fouls this one off the one two in the dirt here but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance he's set here's the two two Bryce Harper who represents the potential tying run here waits on deck now the three and two pitch. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. In now, Bryce Harper. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now the two one pitch. It is a fastball that misses. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Hit back up the middle. And 
no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. The first base number 17, Reese Hoskins. Standing in now, Reese Hoskins. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Philly down to their last strike. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. New York jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Rick Porcello gets the win on the mound his first of the year, allowing only a single hit across eight full innings. Aaron Nola was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Seth Lugo closes the door for the save, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. For the victorious New York Mets, three runs on seven hits, no error. They left eight men on base. For Philadelphia, no run, three hits, no error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Tonight, paid attendance at City Field, 41,922. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please get home safely.